So right after the latest watchOS update, if your Apple Watch 11's battery is draining way faster than before, in this video, I'll show you a few quick ways to try to fix it and to improve your Watch 11's overall battery life. So let's go ahead and check out the watch settings one after another. So first, just press on your crown and open settings. First, we're going to go to general. From there, to the background app refresh. We recommend you to keep it turned on so you can get all the notifications properly. But if you scroll down and in here from this app list, you can just disable or turn off background app refresh for all those apps that you do not need. Now next, from settings, we're going to explore the display and brightness settings. Now in here, we will first recommend you to keep the brightness to low, especially if you're at home. You can scroll down to always on display. Now, AOD consumes a lot of battery. We all know that. If you want, you can keep it turned off. But if you want to keep it, fair enough, you can scroll to this section and decide which apps, activities, or notifications will be shown on AOD, especially on wrist down. Now, next, we're going to explore some notification settings. Now, all this plus some additional settings will be on our paired iPhone. So instead of the watch, now I'm going to just grab and check that out from there. So open the watch app. From there, go to notifications. First, go to show notifications on wrist down. So if you don't need any alert, when you take off your watch or rest your hand, you can turn this off all the way. Or you can keep it on and scroll through this section. Select only those apps that will send you alerts. Just go ahead and disable the rest. Now go back one step and uh, scroll through this list and find which apps you do not need them to send you alerts and just go ahead and check out whether they have disabled iPhone mirroring or notification turn up option. Just go ahead disable notifications for all of them. Now after that, scroll through the end of this section and do the same for iPhone apps as well. Now let's get back to our watch game. Now from settings, Let's go ahead and enter the sounds and haptics option. Scroll down in here and if you don't want any vibration cause you know what the haptic motors will drain a lot of battery. Just tap on haptics and either set it to default or just turn it off in case it was set to prominent. After that just go back and do the same for crown haptics as well. Let's go back to settings once more and now we're going to enter App Store. Now here, just go ahead and keep these two options, Auto Download and Auto Update Options turned off. Let's get out of here. And from settings again, now we're going to go to the Battery section. Scroll down in here and first go to Battery Help. It's recommended by Apple that to improve the overall battery life on your watch, just keep this optimized charge limit option turned on. And if you go back one step, as you can see, you can turn on low power mode from here. But please note that when you're on low power mode, all these options will be disabled on your watch. You can also schedule for a low power mode if you want. Apart from that, if you press on your power button, tap on the battery section, you can go from low power mode here as well. And also you can set a schedule for low power if you want. And besides all these settings we've shown you, every now and then just double press the crown and try to close any apps running in the background that you don't need. And every once in a while, try to give your watch a rest and then a register. Just go ahead, turn it off, leave it for half an hour, and then just turn it back on once again. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.